Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Commander Gathering. I'm your hostess, Lotus, uh, one of the hosts of Into the 99. I have with me a very special guest, uh, Zbex, and I have my co-host, Brian, and a dear friend, Rara. Say Hello. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourselves? I am Zbex. Thank you so much for having me here to play some Commander today. Um, you might know me as a Magic the Gathering cosplayer. I'm also the queen of Magic the Gathering TikTok. I write cosplay articles for hipsters of the coast. I'm just all about community and having fun and bringing a different side to magic. Uh, so yeah, that's me. I'm going to be playing Atla Palani today. It's got an angel theme. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you taking back your like for it? We had pre-stream now, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, oh no. If it's, so, if it's dinosaurs and stompy things, I'm fine. <laughs> Angels are cool, as is my playmat is describing. It's all good. So, hello, I am Rara or Empress Rara, as you might find me on Twitch and stuff. I am a BattleBots person, so if you know BattleBots on Discovery, I am on one of the teams from that. That's kind of my jam. Today I will be playing Queen oh, Marchesa, and it's all about those humans. So. Ah, I think it's on to my turn. So I'm playing Rin and Siri. I didn't even update my commander here. I was thinking of playing Lathril. <laughs> you'll, you'll find with Brian, Brian mulligans until a new deck appears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... I, I feel all my decks have different attitudes and they all hate me at the same time, so... Um, I have to find out which one actually wants to behave for the day. But today I'm playing Ren and Siri. Uh, I've only played this a handful of times, so I don't even know how it really plays. But uh, when I have played it, it's been a lot of fun. So it's more on the cat side of things as I'm a crazy cat man. And yeah, I'll leave it at that and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and I didn't tell you what I'm playing because you saved the best till last. I'm going to be playing... <laughs> Toski, bearer of secrets, because who the doesn't love one. who doesn't like squirrels? And if you've listened to the Inter ninety nine podcast of who we build in cow time, you might know how this deck runs. I'm already scared. It's all good. <laughs> it's fine. So it's okay, I go into every magic game scared. <laughs> this is no different. <laughs> so is everyone ready to roll two d six? That's yeah. right. Okie dokie. Oh, solid 12. Nine. It looks like Rara. Yeah, it looks like I'm going last. <laughs> this is where I get a really dud hand and really embarrass myself by going first. By the way, the battle bots thing is so cool. I was really always into watching that. I oh, don't really? have the mind for it, but I love a little demo. Well, I, I am the weapons <laughs> operator for a team called Nelly the Ellie Bot, and we're all about cuteness in robot combat. So I feel that definitely <laughs> matches up with your MO. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. I am okay with my hand. It's unexciting, but it will do. I am happy with mine. Yeah, I'm good with mine. Really weird, but I'm going to keep it. I'm happy with it. Uh, okay, drop a turn, drop a mountain, pass the turn. Exciting! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then it's to me. And tap up, keep draw. I've got a planes and one of the best plays in Commander. I'm told, turn one soul ring. Oh my! Um, and then I'll just pass. Not will, bad. Not bad. I will draw. I will. Don't play. make me the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. If you watch the Into the Ninety Nine, there enemy. is only one enemy. That's um. Hi. Yeah, my yeah. Name's Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Go on, Brian. I'm like... just dropping a forest. Okay, I will draw. Oh, this is awesome. Razor Verge Thicket. It can actually come into play untapped because I have two or fewer lands. And I will tap it for what I think is a good play. Fin Horn Hills. Nice. And then I'll pass. Neat. 
Untap Upkeep Draw. I'm going to drop a Cliff Top Retreat. It will come in untapped. And don't mind this intangible virtue. It's doing nothing to anybody. It's fine. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. the hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's no tokens in this deck. That never. <laughs> okay, my Why turn. I tokens. I don't know about that. On top of keep draw. I'm gonna play a planes for the turn, and I I will be wanting to generate some tokens. I'm gonna cast smothering tithe. Oh no. Oh no. And, <laughs> oh, I don't know. This was like I said, it was just a really weird hand. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna pass. Um, See, I'm not the only one that like pays. To pay. I'm not going to pay. See, I'm, I'm just... not the only one that plays turn two smothering tithes. No, and we know what I happens. Gotta, I, I, I'll be real. This is my first ever turn two smothering tithe happening here. Enjoy live. it. Live on screen. Yeah, how does it feel? <laughs> Feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so far, knowing what, that I only have one color of cards in my hand, it is feeling pretty great. <laughs> in a three color deck. So don't ruin this for me. Brian, off you go. <laughs> you might not be dying first. <laughs> okay, yeah, chat has it out for me. That's okay. Benson, you're one of us. You're a host of the 99. Behave. <laughs> <laughs> we will play. Oh, to is that is that the one that creates a 4-4 four, four angels? The, the enchantment. Which uh, enchantment? Sorry, uh, in uh, intangible virtue, my one. Yes. No, it, it creature tokens I control plus one plus oh, one and vigilance. Okay. Yeah, then that's fine. Um, I'm gonna have to have a flashback to when I played my turn two smothering tithes. I'm going to tap three. Oh, I won't pay for my card draw. Okay. But like really. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a three three beast. Oh. Well, I, hey, at least I got two. That's all I need to be able to put Atla out there. It came and it went. I had my moment and it was gone. Yeah, now the thing is, turn. Brian, how did that feel? <laughs> oh, I did get a Dirty. <laughs> Evil is the correct word there, Brian. Evil. Passing over to me? Yes, it'll be your turn. Neat. Oh, okay. Let's let's do some fun things. I'm going to play a Temple of Malice. So I'm going to scry one, we'll leave it on the top, and I'm going to drop the most innocent and completely and utterly, do not worry about this card, Beloved Princess. It's all good. It's all coming together. <laughs> Go ahead, z -Bex. It's a all yours. A princess and a queen. I like the royalty theme. That's, that's Definitely. very nice. Oh, uh, <laughs> They don't call me Empress <laughs> Rara for nothing. <laughs> I actually have it on my list to film a TikTok about Queen Marchesa later today, so yes, keep your eyes open for that. <laughs> I've already done at least one about her. She's so good. Um, I would like to well, a dub -dub! just, you know, get some payback. I'm going to play Sublime Archangel. Oh. Other creatures I oh, control no. have exalted. <laughs> And Brian, I'm swinging at you for four. Uh, excuse uh, me, five exalted. I'll graciously accept five. Okay. Um, and that's going to be my turn. I just uh, wanted to really get back in there at you a little bit. Oh, to get a Brian, I hope you're running white counter spells. Vengeance. Nope. After all, <laughs> I will play a forest. I'm going to tap three to cast Cultivate. Uh, put one into the battlefield, one in my hand. I'm going to get two forests, but I will pass after that. Ramp, you love to see it. I know. You love to see it. Untap and draw. One to hand. Uh, we will go... A forest. And tap two. And I will play Fleece Main Lion. Oh, damn. Uh, three, three for two. Uh, uh, Slesnia. Uh, three and a green and a white. A monstrosity one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Um, as long as Fleece Man Lion is monstrous, it has hexproof and indestructible. Nice. And that will be my turn. And, Sweet. uh, Jacuzzi Daniel, if you want to see a salty face when stuff happens, you'll definitely get it on Brian's cam. 
<laughs> on zap upkeep draw draw into this sick planes that i top decked uh, i'm gonna pay four and here she comes queen marchesa uh which I mean, means i become the monarch everyone knows her abilities three three haste death touch uh etb i become the monarch and of course unfortunately the beginning, uh, if I am not the monarch, if someone else is the monarch, I get assassin tokens. Yay! I'm gonna go to my end of my turn and draw a card. Okay. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Candy. Okay, I am going to play a branch loft pathway. Ooh, a flippy flat land. Flippy flat. Which, by the way, I found out there's six in Zendikar and four in Kaldheim. That threw me last night. <laughs> like, what? Uh, I'm going to use one of my treasures for a red and have one colorless floating on Soul Ring mana and play Atla Palani Nest Tender. And um, I will then use my Soul Ring mana to play Swift Foot Boots. And I am going to use my last treasure token to equip Swift Foot Boots. I'm actually gonna put it on uh, Sublime Archangel because she's doing some work right now. Some work I feel is a bit of an insult to the level of death that that thing is spewing right now. Sorry, well, Brian's fortunately I want to become the monarch and there's no flyers over there. No! Um, I mean, are we really worried about the assassin tokens? We can take care of those. Yeah, I mean, I've got an indestructible commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doomed. Um, <laughs> I'm going to attack uh, Rara for seven with the exalted trigger. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. And I shall take that monarch crown <laughs> and move to my end step and draw a card. Okay, I'm just going to untap some lands. <laughs> draw. Land for turn. I am going to tap four for a new card, Cosmos Elixir. What does so, that do? So it's a four mana artifact. At the beginning of your end step, draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. Nice. Oh, it's not bad. So I'm going to move to my end step and gain two life. It's the artifact that should have been white. <laughs> I will untap and I will draw. Isn't that the beautiful thing about artifacts, though? Everybody gets to play them. Yep. Yeah. Most of them. Most of them. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, birthing pod. <laughs> You've got the new pyre. That's the true. weird. I'm, it's a really bizarre card, because it's not quite pod but it's close enough that everyone's going to be comparing it to Pod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to play a Windswept Heath, and I'm going to crack it. I need to find something that has red in it. No stifles in response to the fetch? What is this? What oh, kind of power are we playing? <laughs> it's like no one's playing blue. Grab a Sacred Foundry. Fetch into shock. It's not like Avari lost five life. I, I feel That's not very much at all. <laughs> so I'm going to lose three. And I'm going to play my commander. Oh. Really They're all scary. coming out now. Yeah. It's Captain Dog. Time. So, Han, Exalted is um, if a creature attacks alone, it gets plus one, plus one. But because the angel gives all creatures Exalted, it stacks. Well, I got hit by a 3-3 three, three beast. <laughs> With two creatures on the field, which pumps it to five because there's two creatures on the field one creature attacking alone three plus two da -da, maths yeah <laughs> whereas i got punched with an angel and i will tap my elf for a miri's guile miri's guile nice during your upkeep you may look at the top three cards of your library and put them back in any order oh, nice. and i'll pass and sabity upkeep draw Throw down a swamp. Okay, let's do some things this turn. I think I use that mana. 
going to go for a Zulaport cutthroat. Ah, I forgot my upkeep trigger. My apologies. I'm going to use this Monarch token to be my assassin friend. But yeah, let's grab a Zulaport cutthroat. Yeah. A Fiend Slayer Paladin. So, first strike lifelink and proc from... Oh, literally just cannot be the target of black or red spells my opponent's control. Let's be sensible. Seabax, I'm swinging a beloved princess at you. It can't be blocked by creatures of power three or greater. Okay. Um, it's a 1-1, one, one, right? You know I have a 2-3. Yep, I've just remembered. <laughs> I thought it was a 3-3, three, three, but I've attacked I mean, now. It's... And... Okay. <laughs> yep, I have locked this in. <laughs> Okay, I will block. Cool, I will gain one life. <laughs> and my beloved <laughs> princess will just die. This is fine. Ah, however, trigger. Uh, everyone loses a life, and I gain a life. Because, yo, Zulapot cut three. Seems fair. See? Ha, that's what I was thinking of the whole time. <laughs> Definitely yes, plan. triggers. And I will pass the turn. Okay, perfect. I will untap, upkeep, and draw. I mean, that's definitely an option that we will take. Um, that's also an option. Okay. I will... Oh, Lotus, you don't have any flyers over there. You haven't felt the wrath <laughs> of an angel yet. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna attack you for seven. Well, you know what? It's just fair, you know? You know what you can do? Don't worry, One Brian. Green mana? What? No nothing. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> fighter <laughs> silk net? <laughs> so I'm taking seven? Uh, yes. Yes. I want um, my card draw. Uh, Don't I'm just Jesus, gonna... but he's I mean, I'm still the monarch, right? Yeah, so... Uh -huh. um, yeah, no one's hurt you. I'm just going to pass the turn and, and draw. I wanted a pseudo like draw, but no. Right. Okay. Let's play a forest. Let's get out Toski. But that's not all. Let's, let's play one in a green. And let's enchant Toski with Druid's Call. So now, whenever enchanted creature is dealt damage, I create that many one one squirrels. Mm. I'm Wait gonna... a minute. <laughs> I like that. I'm There's gonna two move token to... decks. Yep. I'm gonna move to my end step, gain two life, and pass the turn. I feel like I'm playing the wrong deck. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I, it, I feel like we're all playing tribal. I uh, will untap. I'm going to look at the top three cards of my library. Yeah, let's do that. Put them back that way. I'm going to draw. Play a Canopy Vista. That. Tap four. Um, white and three. To play Anointed Procession. Oh, Brian. Oh, hey. <laughs> And apparently we have three token decks. <laughs> <laughs> we have four. I thought uh, we were playing tribal. It turns out we're all playing token. I got a tribe in mind here. My cats will rule the world. Not if um, my squirrels deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a literal queen. Just for all dogs go to heaven. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that leaves all the cats. Yeah, I'm good. I've, I've never heard that <laughs> phrase be used so threateningly before. <laughs> um, then it's, I'm gonna it's pay. It's like a threat thing, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, white and a green, and I'm going to play bronze hide lion, and that will create me two dog tokens, and that will be my turn. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. Make a friend. I've got two of them. In fact, let's use a bigger dice, because I'm probably going to get more than six. I imagine. I'm probably not getting that monarch back anytime soon. <laughs> I really appreciate one. you giving me the crown. I like I like wearing one, so... 
Oh, yeah, see, it's perfect. Uh, I'm going to go, gonna go wide and chunky. I'm going to go for red and five. Bring out my friend Titan of Eternal Fire. He might not be a human, but each human uh, creature I control has red tap. This creature deals one damage to any target. Mm. And yeah, I'm coming for that monarchy, I think. Um, see you I'm coming in. You got two, two, two assassins uh, with death touch and a two, two first strike lifelink. Okay. Um, so the um, two, two first strike lifelink I'll block with um, Atla Polani nest tender and one of the death touch tokens I will um, block with my uh three three uh pass priority yeah no nothing fancy here okay. um, all right i'm going I'm... to be act activating um before damage my mm -hmm. atla polani um sacrificing the uh beast that blocked the one one death touch to trigger oh no that doesn't trigger anything what am i doing I'm not, I'm, yeah, we're just still, we don't have a stack outlet. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just, we're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. All right. That fine. happens. I take one. Fine. You take two because of intangible virtue. I take two because of intangible virtue. And, and that means all of one is dead because of intangible virtue, too? No, no it's just tokens. It's okay. only tokens it affects. So, okay. Pinsley like Power then dies, as does one of my token friends. Which means oh. I drain everyone for two because of Zulapore Cutthroat. And I get the monarchy back. I guess what I did is I paid two to make an egg. So we'll, we'll do what I actually paid the mana for. The words that came out of my mouth <laughs> were strange. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Uh, yeah, so the crown rightfully back in the hands of the Empress. I'm going to draw a card for the end of the turn. As you deserve it. Okay, my turn? Mm hmm go ahead. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, excellent. I will play a land for the turn. And I will play... Seems decent. I will play Oketra's Monument. Ooh, nice. Yeah, seems good. Uh, I will also play Reconnaissance. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I love that card I, so much. I will... Um, Brian, do you have anything with Reach? No, you don't have the Monarch Crown, though. Uh, Rera, you don't have anything. No, <laughs> no, I don't. I've got a really don't... tall giant. Does he count? I I am going to uh, first use my two with soul ring to make another egg. So I have uh, four exalted triggers, and I'm going to attack you for eight. No. And then after damage before combat's over, I'll activate reconnaissance. Is that what reconnaissance does? It taps tagging creatures? or? Yeah, it's pretty neat. It removes target attacking creature uh, you control from combat and untap it. Um, so it's kind of like there's multiple phases of combat, just like um, okay. up, there's other steps of it. Mm -hmm. So you can, um, yeah, it's kind of, yeah, fun. Don't you wish you had your effort hybridization now? <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah. turn on that. Now. I'm going to have to be caught up on how this works. So do I still take the damage? Yes. Yeah. This is evil and I do not like it. Thanks <laughs> so for it's the uh, follow castle, by the way. It's eight damage, yeah? Yep. So after combat yeah. is done and the damage is dealt, there's an end of combat and I step. Get the, yeah, I get the monarch token. You do. And Stop I'll jump a card. Take crown away. <laughs> <laughs> So I will go to untap then. I will draw. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Uh, I will play a forest. 
Uh, let's go three, five. Five mana? Let's play a Deep Forest Hermit. It has Vanishing three. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, I make four squirrels. So let's make four of these little squirrels. And squirrels I control get plus one, plus one. Nice. So I'm going to have to go to combat. Not that I want to, I have to. Um, I'm going to send my 2-2 two -two indestructible squirrel at... Oh, let's go for um, Brian. Why? Yeah, Brian, Brian hasn't been punched for a while. Because a two... Battle of the Hosts? <laughs> a 2-2 two -two indestructible squirrel? Yeah. No other tricks. No other tricks. It's my commander, so... I'll block it with a 4-4. Four -four. Okay. Um, my squirrel takes 4 damage and makes 4 squirrels. Oh, and Toski has to attack each turn. I believe that's written on the card, right? It is, yes. So I now have eight. You're welcome. I, I'm very happy. Uh, They're so cute! Little oh. squirrels. It's a goblin in a squirrel costume. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not surprised? So I'm going to move to my end step because I still don't have more life. I will gain two and pass the turn. The hunt shot. We've got a squirrels, some <laughs> angel eggs, cats, cats and dogs, and some assassins. One of these things just uh, just doesn't belong here. <laughs> hey, look! I just haven't found the cute ones yet. <laughs> Though I okay. saw your token, Zbex. I've just found the ones that you sent me. <laughs> I'm going to start really? using them as squirrels. Wonderful. That has got to be one of my favourite cosplays you've done as well. The Galia was so on point. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the wheel moment was, will forever go down in history. It's probably one of yes. my favourite moments. <laughs> um, so I will put uh, look at the top three, put them back in any order. Um, I am going to tap three. And play a prowling seropod. Ooh. Cat snake. Yep, cat, cat snake. snake. I freaking love that card. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad there's no blue players here, but I freaking love it still. So. Hey, I play counter spells out of blue. Is that a wrong uh, you He went that. on a serious hunt for every single counter spell that wasn't blue, Lotus. Really? Yeah. Oh god, oh, yeah. Nice. I run five uh, five white counters in five, my angel yeah, deck. Five white. <laughs> Because apparently there's at least five white counter spells. All I know is mana ties. That's the only white one I know. Illumination, counter target artifact or enchantment spell. Ooh. Dawn charm, counter something that can targets us. Lapse of certainty puts it on top of the library again? Yeah. Ooh. Lapse of certainty is rad. It's just like, no, you don't want to play that now. You want to draw it next turn. <laughs> That's what you want to do. That's cool. I wasn't aware That's there a... were so many. And um, your angel can't be targeted, correct? Correct. I have boots on my angel. Fancy booted angel. Fancy okay. Um... Oh my gosh, shoes. Let's get some <laughs> shoes. <laughs> and what's causing us to have to attack a return? No, it's just my squirrel has to attack. Oh, oh, okay. I thought there was a global enchantment. Okay. No. So I want to... I would love Monarch. Hey, Z-Bex, I'll let you hit me one turn if you let me have Monarch for a turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's turning you into... You want me to uh, let you have Monarch? What yeah, kind great. of negotiation is that? I know, a, right? A dangerous one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to... And what is the angel on its own? It's just a 4-3. Four, three. It's four, honestly, three. if you have a lightning bolt, um, oh, you can't target it, but... Yeah, can. <laughs> okay, I'm going to swing with a bronze hide lion, which is a 3-3. Three, three. But I can pay, um, Slesnia and make it indestructible. I mean, I really just want more angels, so I'm going to block with an egg. Oh, that's an egg? I thought it was an angel. Yeah, no, these are zero 
sorry, let me write on here. These are, I apologize. If you want to, if that was unclear or anything. Yeah, I thought, I, I thought they were with angels. That was another Eggs? reason okay. I didn't attack. <laughs> oh, eggs. Um, I can't even read that, but. <laughs> it's okay. We, we appreciate the effort, regardless. Okay, so I think I can do this. Um... Did you know they become more powerful the more G's you put in the end? Oh, there's zero ones. Not even. If you put more G's on the end, they get even stronger. <laughs> um, egg. what's that little Japanese egg? I almost need those as tokens. You know the cute oh, one? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. Oh, what, I can't must... remember his name. The it's like Yaka and Mari, or... I don't know. I am. Yeah, um, I'm still going to swing for 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, you're still swinging, you said? Mm-hmm, yeah. I I'm still blocking. Okay, so... Tamago. Gudetama. Gudetama. Okay. I'm, okay. so in response to blocks, uh, I'm going to pay 3 and tap Ren and Siri, and I will deal 4 damage to Atla. And I will Ooh. gain one, two, three life. Oh, no, it, it's on. <laughs> Do you mean this guy? Okay, you can't see that. What if I turn down my brightness? And then that would be my turn. This guy. Yes, yes. Guten, what do you think? It's Guten what again? Gudetama. I yeah, Gudetama. I love that little. I need those as tokens for that. Probably. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. You're not. Oh the my gosh! One. It's like this thing in Japanese culture that's like, it's just like a meme. It does. It like sleeps. It like, it does all these yeah. things. It's like Hello Kitty. I went to a um, concert for Kiari Pam, who's like a huge uh, J-pop star, and they had like a Gudetama you could meet at the door. It was oh my bizarre. gosh. I love it. It's, yeah, it's just weird. Okay, it's cool. Untap. Upkeep. Get an assassin. Draw. Oh, we're gonna have fun now. I don't like the sound of that. White, white, white. <laughs> fun for who? White, white, and free for me. Increasing devotion. I'm gonna get five. Hu They're finally here. Yeah, that's good. Toski and Galgari elves. Yeah, I can see it. Toski should go in every green deck, regardless. Mm. Green? Heck yes. And just in case those five humans weren't enough, I'm going to add another one. Go for an insert and get me a clue. Because everyone needs a clue. Especially as I have no clue what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> 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 Do I continue to go for the crown? It is tempting. Yeah. I mean, I only have a, a zero one egg and a four three flyer, so you have a lot more creatures than I do. I do. Let's do this. I'm gonna swing in with two assassin friends, so two two death touch vigilance, and this five six giant titan dude. Uh, I'm gonna decline blocks, so I'm taking what seven? Uh, or five nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Okay, I'll take nine and go to um, twenty-eight. Okay. I. You can have, have the crown. <gasps> Thank you. A wonderful gift. <laughs> and I will go to the end of the turn, and I will draw. Let's do this. Go for it, Zvex. Okay. Um, I will untap, upkeep, draw. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Would like to do so many things, but I don't have my treasure tokens. And whose fault's that, Brian? Oh, don't turn <laughs> this around on me. Yeah, Brian. Sadly, whenever I play these cards, they always get taken away too. <laughs> well, I just don't really want to deal with any of you anymore. So I'm going to play. Fear of safety. I love oh. this card. Oh. So good. Yes. He finishes up. <laughs> um, so 
I don't have the crown currently, but I would certainly like it. I mean, I got no way to stop you. I don't even have. My I know. I need a guy that doesn't have reach. I really would like to draw another land. So I uh, don't have nearly as many things. So it's just six in the air this time. Oh, only six. That's fine. And then I'll remove <laughs> I'll it from combat uh, after the damage is dealt, and I will take. I'll be moving to my end step. I'll be taking the monarch crown and drawing the card. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's nice to see reconnaissance in some games. I will untap. I will lose a vanishing counter and draw. Let's play a land. Okay, I think it's time to show you what Toski is actually about. Yes, let's see it. Toski. I'm going to um, give you a nice assault suit. Uh-oh. So, assault suit is an equipment. A quick creature gets plus two, plus two, and haste. Can't attack me or a planeswalker you control, and can't be sacrificed. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, I may have that player gain control of the equipped creature until end of turn. <laughs> okay. Um, We're going to play past the parcel with Tusky? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, I'm going to equip it to Tusky because this is a Voltron deck. And I'm going to move to combat. Brian. Hey. I'm not coming at you. I'm going to send a 4-4 Tusky at you, Rara. Okay. This is not good. <laughs> I will block with. I don't know what to block with. Uh, I'm gonna it block doesn't with. Have trample, does it? It doesn't have trample, no. Thraben Inspector. She has done her job and she can go and relax. It is fine. That's fine. How? That is a one two. It's a one two. So what you're saying is I just get one extra squirrel. I do. I'm only giving you one more squirrel. That's fair. I will move to my end step. Trigger. Cosmos Elixir and gain two life and pass the turn. Okay. Untap. And draw. Nope, look at the top three, sorry. Well, this doesn't help me at all, but we will go with this one. Draw. I will tap one. Soul ring. Oops. Um, we will Oh Seabax, why do you have to have the monarch now? <laughs> okay. I just want the fancy crown on my cats. Um I, can't I have less blocking ability now than I did previously, so Brian, you should know cats don't get crowns. Cats get hats. Cat in the hat? Yeah, I should have done that. <laughs> hey, I rhymed. That was good. Uh, and I'm proud of you, Brian. <laughs> so we'll go one, two, three, four, five. To make um, my fleece mane lion monstrous, it will get a plus one, plus one. Mm -hmm. And now it has hexproof and indestructible. Um, swing for four at Zbex, and I will... I will. Oh, more. Send three at um uh, Lotus. Okay. I, I just want to interrupt. Are you gonna pay for a spear of safety? I was gonna say. Oh yeah, sorry, I <laughs> forgot about that. No. <laughs> Can't even do that. Uh, you have to pay whatever. two. I'll... Mm, is that tempting? No. Next turn, I guess. We'll see where Mo uh, we're, we'll see where Monarch sits the next time. Um, I'll send the four at Lotus. Is it anything special? Uh, just hexproof indestructible. I will block with one just, squirrel. Just hexproof indestructible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, only just. I will block with the one squirrel. You savage. Yeah. Then that's my turn. 
We gotta, we gotta do some hunting to bring the, <laughs> that squirrel population down. Invasive um, species. <laughs> untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna put another assassin onto the field. And I'm really happy, because getting the monarch last time round uh, drew me the previous commander for this deck, and my favorite card in all of magic, and I'm gonna sort of reveal my hand as to what this deck actually does now. It's Alicia! <laughs> Oh. It's Alicia who smiles at death. Yep. That's I a good am... one, too. Oh, it, yeah, it certainly is. I'm also... Yeah, let's do that, too. I'm going to also play Charming Prince to Scry 2. More of the royalty theme, I see. Absolutely. Of course. Let's do this. Let's, let's, go, let's go crazy ham with it. I'm going to swing... Lots of token friends at Brian. <laughs> so I am swinging at you, Brian. Three two two death touches and two twos. Uh, we will obscuring haze. What? Fog. Who oh. <laughs> <laughs> plays fog? How dare you? <laughs> How could this to me? I will pass the test. Okay. Please visit another time. We're having some bad weather here. So, uh, <laughs> in your upkeep, uh, Z Max, yeah. would you like to have a go with Toski? I mean, sure. That de it generates the squirrels for you still, though, right? It doesn't. Oh, it does generate oh, them for me. It generates um, for the controller. Oh, I mean, sure, if you want, but I'm just gonna, my angel's gonna get bigger. It just means it's untapped. Okay. For you. <laughs> Is that all you're doing it for? <laughs> all right. You know, sure. untaps in your untap step too. <laughs> I want to, see to get as much limelight as possible. Um, I'll play a I'll play a land for the turn. Um, so yeah, Toski. Who should I be attacking with Toski? I guess we could just go at Brian again, or... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Tusky does like going that way. <laughs> uh, well, first, I am going to play for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to stick with the angel theme here, and we're going to play Akroma's Memorial. Oh, flying oh. first strike, pro red, plo black. Trample, Vigilance, haste. trample, yeah, <laughs> oh, the, oh, the whole deal. Damn. Uh, so Toki has those things right now too, since I control <laughs> the squirrel at the moment. Cool that, um, Chroma's bargain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to um, use Toski to attack Brian. For one, two, what's he's a one, a one, one? He's, he's a, a three, uh, three. Three, three. Oh, he's a three, three. So then with my stuff, he's a five, five with exalted. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm attacking you for five, Brian. I will put my, um, it's flying. Front hide, uh, it's flying. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's flying. Why wouldn't it be? I, I graciously oh, accept. Take my commander damage. <laughs> and um, because Toski deal combat damage to a player... Oh, I get a draw card? Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Okay, and I make five squirrels? No, because it's what is dealt to Toski. Oh, oh, oh. So no, no squirrels. No squirrels. Well, I'll take the card draw. That's that's fun. Okay. Um, that's uh, that's my turn, and then I'll draw from my monarch. Oh no! Now Han's winding me up, saying that you use Toski better than I do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will draw. Oh, okay. I mean, you could totally throw a Chroma's Memorial in that deck. Yeah. Um. However, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pay two mana and play a Conda's Banner. Oh, I love this card. So it's another equipment which equips for two. It can only be attached to a legendary creature. So Toski. 
uh, creatures that share a colour with Toski get plus one, plus one. Creatures that share a creature type with Toski uh, get plus one, plus one. Uh... So let's pay two and equip it. So Toski gives all my other squirrels plus two, plus two. So they're now all four fours. Brian's got more life. I am. Z-Bag oh. has a crown. But also, I have to pay to attack, and I've got five mana. That is a valid point. How much is it to attack, Zebex? Oh, but I currently have two enchantments, so it is two mana for each creature. Okay. Um, so I'm going to pay two, and I will send one squirrel at you, Zebex, which is a four four. And I will, start, I... Oh, I will yeah, send okay. Toski at Rara, and yes. Toski is a 4-4. Four, four. I will block Toski with a Charming Prince, which is a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. And he's going to die, and I'm going to drain everyone. One? Yeah, just one. Okay. Um, I will not be... Blocking your 4-4. Four, four. I'll pick 4. Okay. You can have a crown. A squirrel I've, crown. I have the first... I feel privileged. I feel in danger now. Yeah. But I feel privileged. I've entered the danger zone. Like <laughs> I Taking will... Taking the highway straight <laughs> to the danger zone. <laughs> I am terrified. I am going to go to my end step. Cosmox Elixir will gain me 2 life. And I'll draw... For Zimonok. I am pass. Okay, I'll untap. I will look at the top three cards. We'll throw that up on top. And draw. Um one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will play Felidar Sovereign. I'm huh. pretty far away from my starting life total, so don't need yeah. to worry about that. You say that. I will get two more dogs, and I will pass the turn. Untap. I'm still not the monarch, so I'm still getting the necessity. Draw. I am going to play a Forsaken Sanctuary. And I am going to... Head Red 2. To play an inspired choice here of Molten Echoes, choosing human. So whenever a non-token creature of the chosen type enters the battlefield under my control, I create a token that's a copy of it. The token gains haste and exile at the beginning of the next enter. Sadly, I don't have anything really to play right now. Lotus, how many blockers do you have? Um, ten. But they're all little squirrel friends, right? Yeah, they're all four fours. Oh yeah, they're four fours. Yes, they are. They are so cool. <laughs> yeah, Condos Dinner and what was the other one? Uh, Deep Forest Hermit gives them plus one. Yeah. At least, at least until my next upkeep. <laughs> I'm going to try and slightly next. Bear with me because this is slightly bad. I'm going to swing at you, Lotus. Yeah. With five two two humans, four two two Death Touch assassins, and Alicia. Now, on Declaration of Attack with Alicia, uh, I am going to activate her ability, pay two, uh, and the creature I'm going to choose to have come in uh, attacking with her is Charming Prince. On Enter the Battlefield, I have two triggers. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to have Charming Prince exile Alicia, um, and she will return at the beginning of my next end step. Uh, I've got my own reconnaissance going on here. I'm clever. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also going to make a Charming Prince token, who uh, I get until the end of the turn. He's not attacking, but I'm going to have him gain me three life. Okay, so how many creatures are swinging and how big are they? There are ten creatures attacking. They are all two twos. I'm just going to block all of them with my squirrels. One under each. Okay. One under each. Cool. Except uh, so, the Charming Prince 
What's that special? Oh, no, that's fine. I'm thinking of Beloved Princess. No, nope, carry on. That's fine. No problem. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... So four of your score touch. I'm going to use one of my um, human tokens here to tap. I'm going to pay red and activate Titan of Eternal, Eternal Fire's ability on it and ping you for one as well, Lotus. Okay. Yeah, and then we we do lots of... There's lots of death. Okay. Um, you lose four squirrels. I lose ten people. And I drain everyone for ten. Yeah, I saw that coming. I didn't like that. The casualties of war. Us. <laughs> yeah, right? Now, where does the Charming Prince go? Oh, he just goes back to the graveyard. That's neat. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, do I qualify as taking the... Nope, you didn't um, do combat damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's combat damage specifically. That's fine. So, end step. Have Alicia come back. Uh, sh sure. Trigger Molten Echoes for no And then go to my, uh, go to my end of my turn. Go ahead. So, Ashen, Toski won't be on Brewing It Live because Toski was already in one of the podcasts of Into the 99, so it'll be a bit silly to do it again. But I will put a link to the deck tech. I am going to go to combat. And where's that monarch token sitting? Oh, Lotus. Oh, you no. know I'm coming. I have vigilance now. I don't, e I don't even need reconnaissance. I just have the straight up vigilance. <laughs> and so I'm going to... Tosky. I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know. It was very kind. Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't have Tosky right now, though, right? No. Okay, good. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna. I, I want the. I need to draw more cards. That's what we do in Magic. So I'm gonna attack you for six. In the so, air. Yeah. Okay. I can um, deal with that. <laughs> now, can we have uh, Rara have the Monarch back so we start attacking her? No. <laughs> no. I'm fine not having it. I do something. I don't need the Monarch token. A little bit controversial i'm gonna cast divine reckoning that's a that's oh. a board white friend it's each player chooses a creature they control and then destroy the rest okay i'm going to choose a squirrel i am going to choose alicia i'm gonna choose my sublime archangel i am also destroy, gonna try it's not sacrifice Destroy, sorry, destroy. So I will tap to to make my line indestructible. Uh, I will keep my commander and let the rest die. Cool. I'm also going to drain you all for three because Zulaport can't throw. Yeah. Oh. And then that's done. You That was one of the ones that went away. So that was successful. Oh. That's I can good. Hopefully bring, I can bring him back with Alicia. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. That might be the plan. <laughs> um yeah i mean don't get your hopes up too much uh, uh let's uh let's just pass the turn after that that uh oh actually no hang on i have nope i do not have okay yep that's it okay i'll Finn. untap the squirrel tosky was indestructible so all good and a draw do i upset people now or later i think now <laughs> so I'm I just got boards cleaned out. How much more damage? Can... I'm gonna equip Rancor to Tosky. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna draw my card off the Monarch because I didn't do that. Oh yeah, of course. That's fine. Sorry. So Rancor is now on Tosky, making it plus two, plus zero, oh, and trample. Oh, do I do? Yes. No. Maybe. Possibly. Hmm. How? Hmm. You're forty-two. I'm just going to go straight to combat, and I'm going to swing Toski at Rara. Toski is yeah. a 1, 4, 5. Toski is a 5, 3. I am going to let it hit me. Okay, take 5. 3, 4, 5. I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. I will play land for turn, which is a buried ruin. Nice. And then I'm going to paint a target on myself. 
I have cast Argentum Armor. Oh, you! <laughs> no! May I ask what that does? A crit creature it gets plus six that. plus six. Whenever a crit creature attacks, destroy target permanent. Oh, yeah, no. It wrecks homes. <laughs> <laughs> it <wrecked homes. laughs> then I'll play two for a rampant growth, search for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and I'll pass the turn. Neat. There's my land. I don't know how I feel about this lotus. It's fine, it's just a squirrel. Just a squirrel. I don't believe that for one second. No, it really a is. A large squirrel with destroy stuff on a stick. <laughs> um, tap th two, and I will play a Dorned Pouncer. I will create... Two dogs. I will send my fleece made lion at uh, Z back still cost two. Yep. What's its power and toughness? Um uh, is a four four. Okay. I'm gonna block it. I have first strike. Mine's indestructible as well. So. Cool. Okay. Uh... Oh then I'm gonna lose I lose mine then. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Um the angel and... That's okay. it's finally gone. Yeah. We're free now. I can't I can't take that life at this point. Oh I didn't I just wanted the monarch. That's all I was trying to go after by that. Oh you just wanted the monarch? Toe. Oh yeah. well. should have said. Um well no, I knew that she had the angel, so I was like I have to kinda go over something that's not um, and then that will be my turn. Cool. Well, at least I prevented you from drawing a card. <laughs> yeah. Pure that, evil. That oh. pesky <laughs> land that's sitting on top of my deck. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Play a planes. Oh, I'm going to pay two mana and crack this clue, because planes is what I just drew. So I only want land right now. Now that's a card that I forgot I was playing in this deck. Oh. Two, three, four. Sure. I'm going to play Dearly Departed. It is a 5-5 five, five flying spirit. And then it has an ability which is as long as Dearly Departed is in each human creature I control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. Oh. Uh, it's not a human, so it doesn't trigger Molten Echoes. Uh, Pass the turn. <laughs> Don't have enough mana to activate Alicia's swing. Okay. Uh, untap, upkeep, draw. Aha. Okay. Now we're talking. Um, I'm going to... I wish I had one more mana, but tis life. Actually, no, it's fine. It's fine. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to for um, four because white creatures I control cost less. Cast Lyra Dawnbringer. Trigger create oh, a one one white token uh, on the ground. It's a warrior, I think. Yeah, with vigilance. Well, it had vigilance anyway. Um, and then I am going to play for three mana because my white creatures cost one less. Linbala, Keeper of Silence. So I will make a second 1-1 one, one white warrior token. Um, angels I control have plus one, plus one, and lifelink. Um, and of course I have um, haste from the Akromas Memorial. Oh no. Ew. Oh no. Oh, yes. Activated abilities of our creatures can be activated. That is. Um, yeah. That's fine. Mine are triggered. Oh, yeah, no, it doesn't right. affect. It's, it's... So Linvala comes in and stops me from being able to activate my creatures. Yep. 
Yeah, do you want to respond to that? Yeah. Um... Let's do... What is uh, Alicia? Alicia is a 3-2. Um, I'll ping Alicia for 2 damage. No! <laughs> no! And I will gain 4 life. You're next, Brian. <laughs> Um, as they say, heartbroken. <laughs> um, okay, so you don't have any flying blockers, right, Brian? No, no, I do not. I accept <laughs> everything that I'm mowed. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to attack for, uh, let's see. We've got five and four because it's an angel. So I'm going to swing at you for nine in the air. Nine? Okay. Yeah, and then I will gain nine. Woo! Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about life now. <laughs> I'm going to... Just gonna... swap life totals with Brian. <laughs> I know, right? I'm going to go to my uh, end step and draw a card for Monarch. Okay, I will untap. It, it's just updated. Do not worry. I will draw. It said 10 for the longest time for me. Oh. I didn't tab. That's my fault. <laughs> uh... So, you know what happens this late in the game when you play a soul ring? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so let's use two, four, six. Let's do it. Let's attach the Argentum armor to Toski. Oh, no. <laughs> Toski is one. Big squirrel. <laughs> so, um, one big armored squirrel. One big armored squirrel. The whole length of your play mat. I know, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that is a tall squirrel. Well, I have to keep up appearances. Squirrels aren't just for uh, Emrakul, you know. <laughs> big friend. Um, how much damage do I really want to do? I think a lot. So before, uh -oh. so I pay a green and then pay an additional five. I'm going to Primal Might for five. Target creature I control gets plus X, plus X to end of turn, so plus five. Then it fights up to one target creature I don't control. I'm going to fight Linvala. Okay, I'll gain for life. Um, I am dealing it 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16. Sure, it's dead, but it has lifelink, so I get to gain 4 life off of it. And I make 4 I... more squirrels. The little victories. <laughs> <laughs> but I then go to combat, and I'm going to swing it at Rara. No! <laughs> Though there is an attack trigger. I was going to say, you got a trigger first. The attack trigger, I'm going to blow up. Oh, what do I want to blow up? I'm going to blow up Ren and Siri. That it seems fair. And then I'm swinging at you with a 16... 14. Well, dearly departed, I've only cast you last turn and... <laughs> Good egg, whilst I knew you, but get in front of that squirrel, you bunch of spirits. It does have trample. I, I've only got a five. <laughs> I, what do you expect me to do? Not so block? You take... Take... Ten? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Because I dealt combat damage, I'll draw a card. And it was a five-five, you say? Yep. So I make five squirrels. Say a math again. And I will move to my end step. I will trigger the Cosmos Elixir and gain two life. At least Dearly Departed is where I need it to be, because its ability activates from <laughs> the uh, <laughs> from the graveyard. So. And then I'm going to pass the turn. But Brian, please take control of my Tusky. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh god. Why did you give me such power? <laughs> because After it's... shooting my dog and cat. 
<laughs> you can't attack me. I look at the top three cards. Trample, does it? Toski? Yeah, Toski's got trample. Yeah. I will get a spectating or spectator seating. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And recast Ridden Siri. So I get Toski for a you, turn. You do. And it does 16 damage? No, that was because of the Primal Might. Toski is currently a 6, 7, 8, 9, a 11, 9. Who gets the Argentum on the trigger? Me. Oh, <laughs> I still control the armor. Yeah, you do. Interesting. Well, that's, that's gross. Cool. And, and it has to swing. That'll, well. that'll swing. Yeah, half swing. Wow. Uh, I guess Rara. I'm... No. <laughs> oh, no. That's commander damage. That will end you, won't it? Does it count that way? Yeah, it's still the commander. It's still your commander. Yeah. No. Please, no. As he affects how much commander damage do you have from Trotsky? Have I taken any commander damage from Trotsky? Uh, no. I, I don't think I've actually been the victim. Um, I have swung with Toski once, but otherwise you just were attacking me with squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, I early think, early on. I think I've taken Toski twice, but Toski was sm earlier, so I think I've taken 16 altogether. I, I marked it on the thing here. So, yeah. Uh, why, you coming at me? Yeah. For 11? Yes. Um, I mean, it has trample, so I'm just going to take 11 and go to 12. Yeah. Oh, uh, I feel so bad. I so feel like this has been a targeted the, game. The Agenton armor will trigger because you attacked with it. I'm going yeah, to you... blow up Swift Foot Boots. Um, but because a creature dealt damage, you draw a card, Brian, off of Toski. Oh, that's... Oh, I should have put the other card. And that would be my turn. <laughs> that's okay. it. Brian smiles as he as he has Toski is when you know it's a good deck. <laughs> Rara. Okay. Yes, hello. Have a go with Toski. Oh, no. I don't like this responsibility. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. the same. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Um... I have a plan. Brian, just yeah. let it happen is all I'm going to say. Trust I me. I don't like the words of that, but okay. Uh, so I'm going to uh, throw onto the battlefield my good friend, Odric, Master Tactician. So when Odric and at least three other creatures attack, I can choose which creatures block this combat and how they block. Which is a really rad card. I really love how that works. Uh, trigger? I'm going to... Is it a May? I really hope it's a May. It's not a May. No, Toski has to attack. Yep. No, I'm talking about Molten Echoes. Oh. The Molten Echoes makes a copy of Odric, and then I'm going to choose Legendary Rule. I'm going to choose the token copy of Odric to go away. Uh, however, Odric does come in with a plus one plus one. Thanks to Dilly Departed. Brian, I'm going to swing at you with Toski. Lotus, you get your Argentum on the trigger. Okay, I will choose Mana Echoes. Molten Echoes, you mean. Molten Echoes. The thing that's making copies. Yep. Yeah, that seems fair. It's really strong. And now after I've declared attack, and that has been done, I'm going to cast Repel the Abominable. Two can play at the Fog game. <laughs> Prevent all damage that will be dealt this turn by non-human sources. Last I checked, Toski's not a human in disguise. <laughs> no. So do what you want, Brian. Toski's doing nothing. Yeah, I won't block. There you go. Wow. Yeah. I'm I did this impressed. for you, Brian. I did this for you. Uh, I guess I'll have to remember that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I will end my turn. And as usual, Seabex, have a go with Toski. 
Okay. okay, so I have Husky over here now. Um, We're going to I... go past the parcel this time round. Hey, I'm not killing you. I will untap, upkeep, draw. Ooh, yeah, look, what? I got another land. It's not red, though. That's okay. Tell me um, this deck yeah. is, uh, Lotus, tell me this deck is called Plausible Deniability, seeing as you're not killing us yourselves. <laughs> hmm, it's a good idea. Okay. What giving Tosky to everyone? Yeah. Hey, I don't want to enjoy it on my own. I want to share the love. Um. Oh, I need to do that. I have to do that as much as I would like to. This has to happen. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh, Tosky's even more disgusting under Zebex because of a Chroma's <laughs> memorial. Yeah. Why? Because it has first strike? And fly. flying, and flying, and flying. <laughs> Basically, I can I could take Brian out if I wanted to. Or you can uh, take me out because of commander damage. <laughs> oh, I take either of you out. No, I have if I if I do that. Um, well, I mean, I feel like we're kind of we're close at that point there. Now. Yeah, I was gonna say we're kind of at that point. Um, Wait, I, was, I was, will. Zbex, you've still got reconnaissance. Yeah, I have vigilance too. Oh, you can remove yeah, it from combat. You could remove Tosky from combat. You don't have to kill us. Oh, 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 oh! That's true. That's true. Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. Ha ha. Hmm. Smart moves. Damn. By the uh, person trying to keep everyone in the game. What I'd rather do. What um. I do graciously, uh, graciously hold the I'll die first. I'll, I'll still go down the history books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. At this point, um, I think we're going to uh, play in. I'm, I'm trying to stay alive here. This is we're going to be real. I'm going to I'm going to play Angel of Serenity. And when it enters. I get to exile up to three creatures from the battlefield or graveyards. I'm exiling Tosky. No. Ooh. Oh. No. As one of them. Um, uh, I get to choose what? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it's not a no, you can't do. Um, um, sure. I, 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 <laughs> Tosky to command zone. <laughs> Is it from graveyards and battlefields? Yeah, it's graveyards and battlefield. So, so I could potentially get, get something back. I think I do want to get back actually um my sublime archangel. That was pretty good. You and... can also take out my daily departed because it's useful to me in the in your graveyard. You want to get yeah. Yeah, I'll do your dearly departed too then. No. So it's problem. it's under there as well, represented with this card. I will put it at the top there. Perfect. Um, and then, uh, because of my lovely uh, ability, I create another thing from casting a thing. Warriors, cr white creatures, words. Seems legit. Uh, and <laughs> then I can still attack and gain some life, which is what I really want to do. Lotus, you have no flyers over there. No. You've been wrecking <laughs> havoc, so I think it's only fair now that we send a little bit your way. Uh, so I'm going to send um, 11 in the air at you. Ouch. It was and I will gain 11 and go back up. That's exactly what I took last time. So I'm just back to where I was. <laughs> I feel that's fair. Um, And... Then I am going to uh, pass the pass the turn. Okay. Have you got Monarch still? Yes. Oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do have the Monarch still. Okay, I drew my card. I did need that land. Thank you. Land for turn. Okay, so four and two to replay Toski. Pay six to equip Argentum Armor. 
and one to equip Rancor again. Oh god. <laughs> Rancor? Yeah. Such a fun card. I oh, I play it. It dies. <laughs> I get it back. Oh, I play it. It dies. I get it back. So, oh, I'm going to just have to go to my... No, yes. Go to my end step, gain two life of the elixir, and pass the turn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm scared. Tap. Look at the top three. Maybe a shuffle will help me. I will draw. Play a land for turn. Tap two and play three visits. Search my library for a forest. Um, and then I'm going to... I don't think I can do anything. I'm very upset about this. Um, we'll grab a cinder glade. I'll pass the turn. So someone in the chat has just said that uh, they're not going to say who, but it looks like one player hasn't stabilized their board state. And uh, I just want to use this turn to uh, prove them wrong. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go white, white, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, remember that card I cast earlier? I'm going to cast Increasing Devotion on Flashback and get 10 human tokens. Oh my. So, uh, is 10 2 2 Vigilance tokens good enough for pooped board state chat member? <laughs> Are you happy now? <laughs> Look what you made me do. <laughs> Prove them wrong. I had a mate way better play for that. I, I had to prove a chat member wrong. <laughs> I have learned from streaming myself. It's fine. I'm going to pass the turn. There's nothing else I can do. I made a bunch. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to end step um i'm going to enlighten tutor oh no oh i don't know about that I don't know uh, i'm getting i mean i think i have an idea but i don't think it's really that bad i don't know uh, i can't i can't do anything about it i'm just saying like, <laughs> when the tutor it's when the tutor goes it's not that bad i mean i like i really have uh one card in my oh that could be fun and i'm so i'm gonna get to gift of immortality it's really not that bad i just oh, want no. to keep stuff don't touch my stuff <laughs> <laughs> back off get your own sandwich <laughs> uh, and it goes on top of my library so that is what i'm going to be uh drawing for the turn see you went to go and get the keep away stick <laughs> yeah I don't even know if I'm going to be playing it because I th might be using my mana differently. I just wanted to get the tutor out of my hand. I Is that weird? Not really. No. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, I'm going to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Not sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I am going to cast a Chroma Vision of Ixidor. No, speaking of a Chroma. Uh, yeah, so you're familiar with the abilities then. Oh, wait um, a minute. I think... she, she can't be here. Her memorials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing to wizards right now. Oh, oh, uh, oh no. Oh, no. I know. <laughs> I haven't actually. This is exciting. The first time this is happening together. This is this is living the dream. I believe is how they phrase it. I'm also going to get my trigger off of my token from um, casting my uh, white creature, and she of course has haste. So now I feel like um, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five. They each get um, plus five plus five for those um things that they have which is like all of them are you moving uh, to combat right now i'm moving to combat i'm moving to combat and what is a chroma terrifying um, uh, oh does it does the chroma the world get them indestructible no okay and what's the power but, toughness well so the, actually they each don't get 
plus five plus five. So the one ones are six sixes. Because, uh, oh wait, flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste. Yeah. So they each oh, have wow. those abilities because of Akroma's Memorial. And then they each get plus one, plus one because of each of those. Oh, you get it from protection. Does that work on that too? It's just, I don't actually know how that works. No, they'll still get it. They get a pump from the protection as well. Does it say on a chroma protection? It, it does, does say yeah, protection. So does that mean they actually are plus seven? This is actually the first time I've gotten to do this. Then yes. Uh, wow. So it was okay. nice knowing you, Brian. It was nice knowing <laughs> yeah. you, Brian. They're eight eights. Or plus eight. Or plus, yeah, plus seven, plus seven. So these are eight eights. Um, everything's really big. Um, I'm just, I can just, so I'm going to go to combat with Lyra um it's 12 at in the air at brian and then with um does anybody have flyers no nope oh okay um with Angel... getting... is this just the game it's getting close i i'm gonna go at lotus um with angel of serenity for uh also 12 and um, I'm going to be going at Rara with uh, the rest. Which should easily be 26, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, so these are each um, eight. So eight, 16, 32, and flying in there. <laughs> yep, no, that's it. Even, yeah. <laughs> Wow. There you go. I, 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 like I said, I'm an equal opportunist. You all got to die at once. Yeah, you didn't die first, Brian. <laughs> we all die first. 